I would say the theme for the 2025 threat detection report this year is more. We have a larger data set, and we've also seen notable increases in things like info stealers and cloud threats and identity threats and email abuse. And we had our analysts look at all of this and give you even more insights and actionable guidance. We have this wealth of information available to our researchers from nearly a petabyte of raw information per day. That's from all of our customers, which we can then refine down into something that is actionable and summarized out across the entire year. One of the biggest trends that I've noticed as I've been sort of helping write this thing and, and reviewing it is the prevalence of stealers. And it seems like there is this giant, highly commoditized stealer ecosystem that makes these, these information stealing malware threats, uh, malware families, I guess I should say, available to basically anybody. And I think it's fueling like a lot of the later stage stuff that we're seeing across the industry. One of the things that is interesting to see in this year's threat detection report is really this heavy, heavy focus on uh, identity as an entry point into a lot of different compromises. And as we see a lot of organizations move to cloud-based or SaaS-based platforms, of course, we need to have some kind of a common identity broker in front of those. That means it becomes a really attractive target for adversaries. If they can compromise the identity, it gives them this wealth of opportunity to further access other resources in the cloud infrastructure or in the SaaS platforms that the organization uses. For the first time this year, we went through and we just did like a quick blurb on all of the, the color birds that, that we're tracking uh, at the moment. We've got uh, Amber Albatross is a threat that we've started talking about this year. Uh, Tangerine Turkey, we actually just published about a couple of weeks ago. It's a USB based threat that uh, delivers cryptocurrency miners. And so we've got these short little blurbs about all of these little unique threats that we're tracking that I think people are gonna find pretty interesting.